Hello everybody, um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to image map on Fireworks CS3 since I see nobody has any of those tuts. Um, basically this is an image map. It's an image. <laughs> As you can see it says home, pics, block, comment, whatever. Um, and when you click on it, it takes you right to well where, wherever it says it's going see that one goes to everything um, home goes to home okay here we go see okay well um, first things first um, I'm gonna be using my own link as a, an example I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. This is the first thing you want to do. Well, one of the first things you want to do. You want to get your link copied down. The other thing you're going to do is um, upload the image into PhotoBucket. This is the one I'm going to be using. Okay. Let me... Um, Okay, well, once you have your image loaded and you pick your link or whatever, you're going to open Adobe Fireworks CS3, which yours should look semi like this. I am hiding this part, so whatever. And you're going to open your image that you've already made. Let me see what mine is right here. Once you have your image open, you're going to go over here to where it says web, and you're going to go here and choose the little link thing. I think it's called the rectangle hotspot tool. Once you have that going, you're going to draw out a rectangle around the image that you want to link. So this is going to be my content. Then you keep doing that for the rest of the things. And just create a box for everything that you want to link up. Once you've done that, you click your arrow and click on the box that you want to modify. So here I'm going to do my content box. You're going to put your link in here. The alt, which mine does it automatically because I've done this a whole bunch of times. <laughs> um, my alt, the alt is what it says when you roll over the image. Like if you just leave your mouse on it, it's going to come out with a little thing that says alt. I mean, not alt, it'll say whatever you write there. And target um, self. Once you have that, you're going to do that for every, each and every little box. Every time you click on it, it's going to show you a little preview here of what you have highlighted. You put your link, the alt, and the target, and then you go next. And you just keep filling it out. Okay? Once you have that done, you go to file. You're going to go to export. And you're going to save it. I'm going to save this one as test 3. You save. Once you have it saved, minimize it. And open up Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. As you can see it there. And you're going to go over here to open recent item. I don't have it open, so I'm just going to go to open. Test 3 open and this is what it's going to show, it's going to show you the code all right? ignore all of this and you see where it says begin copying the HTML here copy all of this this is all you're going to need and cut close it open up your MySpace edit profile um, this is my old code so I'm going to delete that. Paste it. Now, very important, you're going to go to your photo bucket image, copy your direct link, and right here where it says SRC equals whatever, you're going to replace it with this. Okay? Save changes. Um, Eight, 
profile updated. View my profile. And here's your image map. Of course, I was doing a layout here, so it looks a little bit different. But depending on whatever layout you use or whatever, it doesn't matter. Point is, you see when I hover over it, it says sporadic notions. And when I click it, it goes to my blog. Pretty easy, huh? Um, so that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. I hope this tutorial helped all of you, or most of you at least, because I don't see this tutorial anywhere. Um, so yeah, comment. Bye.